Hello and welcome back. So today's video is an updated makeup collection and storage video. I've done several of these on my channel, but since the last one, which was in May, I did rearrange my makeup storage and I finally got the Linman tabletop for my two Ikea drawers, which I really like because I did not have much desktop space before. So I am very excited about that. I did recently do a makeup inventory where I told you the exact numbers in each category. So if you are interested, I will link that video as well. And I am still planning a eyeshadow collection video where I'm going to go through all of my palettes individually. So I won't do that in this video, but stay tuned for that within the next few weeks. So let's get into this video. Alrighty, so this is the setup. So these are Ikea drawers here and here, and that is the Linman tabletop. I've had the drawers for a while, but I just recently got the tabletop. And if you saw my last collection, I had a really small desk with hardly any surface area. So honestly, having a larger tabletop makes a huge difference actually in getting ready. This chair is from Home Goods. So first I'm gonna show you what's on top and then I'll show you what's in the drawers. I do have ranking videos on a lot of my makeup like lipstick and eyeshadow palettes and all of that. But like I said, I will still do an updated eyeshadow palette collection because I've got new palettes. On this side here, I keep eyeshadow palettes like my Pan That palette, and these are some other ones that are in Project Pans or just things that I want to use more, like my very expensive Metropolis palette. And this is my Depotted Blush palette. I keep it here just because it really does not fit in well with my blushes. Candle Jar with Q-tips. This is definitely a helpful thing to have when I'm doing my makeup. This white container here, I have had this for years. I got it in the Desk Organization section of Target. And this is how I store my foundations. These are just everyday things that I don't have a ton of. So I always have my primers here. It just makes getting ready a lot easier. All my concealers are stored here. And then just basic stuff like liquid eyeliner and pencil eyeliner. I never know what to do with my lash curler. So it just always sits right here. This is my only liquid highlighter. So it just sits here as well. I left out my ambient lighting palette that I just got because I just want to be sure that I use it. So my makeup mirror is from Revlon and I've had it for several years and I bought it at Target. On this side, I keep makeup brushes. So this is the cup that I'm currently using. These are all empty candle holders from Bath & Body Works, by the way. And then these are all clean brushes that I'm not currently using and I just kind of swap them out based on whatever I feel like using. This basket here is usually shop my stash items and sometimes I keep some other random stuff in here that I want to use. Like my mini nude palette is one I want to get more use out of. And then the rest of these are in my current shop my stash. My shop miss a sponge just sits in this little container here. And up here are setting spray and moisturizer and lip balms. This container I don't use anymore. It's just empty, but I don't know. I guess it's nice to have these higher up because I can reach them more easily. So we're back on the left side and we're gonna go through the drawers. This top drawer honestly is hardly anything in it. For some reason I keep this Tarte Exposed blush that I've depotted and a random ColourPop highlighter in this basket. Not sure why, but that's just how they are stored. And this is where my sponge tip applicators are and my pencil sharpeners and makeup wipes just in case. The second drawer has my face powders here that I'm not currently using. And then this and this container of my lip glosses. These gray containers are from Target, by the way. Actually, so is this clear one. Most of my stuff is from Target. This is my highlighter drawer. As you can tell here, I've got Anastasia Glow Kit, Milani Highlighter, Makeup Geek Palette, Essence Pure Nude, Ofra, Becca Palette. So yeah, I really love my highlighter collection. Back there, you see my bronzers. I did recently rank all of them. I got Too Faced, Morphe, Marc Jacobs, MAC. And then this is the blush. I've got blush face palettes here, individual blushes from MAC, ELF, Wet n Wild, Ofra, Marc Jacobs, and underneath there is the Anastasia blush kit, which I really like. The last drawer on this side is actually empty, which is nice. You know, I like to have empty space. I don't know, it just makes me feel better. On the right side, the first drawer, 
All of this stuff here is stuff that is everyday, like my under eye powder or project pan items. So these are all the items on this side that are in Project Pans, Charlotte Tilbury, Filmstar Bronze and Glow, Physicians Formula Liquid Lipsticks, NYX Liner, Hourglass Luminous Light, will be in a Project Pan soon, not quite yet, the Too Faced Blush, and then over in this small container is Miscellaneous Contour Stick, Backup Eyeshadow Primer, Stila Glitter, and single eyeshadows that I hardly ever use. So most of my Project Pan items that are not eyeshadow palettes are in this drawer. Second drawer on the right side, this is all lipsticks and liquid lipsticks, and I did recently rank all of my lipsticks if you saw that video. This side I keep more pencil type things. These are the just a lippy tint or whatever they're called from Colourpop, I love those. And then lip liners. I love the ColourPop lip liners. They are absolutely amazing. Okay, so then the next three drawers are all eyeshadow palettes. And like I said, I will go through these individually in an eyeshadow palette collection. This drawer is this BH Sylvia Ghani palette. It just doesn't fit well with anything else. And then the rest are all of my Juvia's Place palettes. So these all sit here together. Basket in here, by the way, is the same as this basket that I use for my Shop My Stash. And I did buy these on Amazon. I just searched organization baskets. The next eyeshadow palette drawer is kind of smaller eyeshadow palettes. These all fit really well together, like my Tarte palettes and my Essence palettes. The Soft Glam. My other Anastasia palettes are over there because they are currently in Project Pans. This one doesn't fit very well anywhere else, but this is my Carity 21 Matte Palette. This is probably one of my favorite colorful palettes ever. I really, really like it. So this just sits here because it doesn't really fit anywhere else. Okay, so then the bottom drawer is all of my single eyeshadows. These are all ColourPop. And then palettes with depotted eyeshadows, which I know I need to use more. These are mostly depotted ColourPop. All those little ColourPop palettes, I just decided to depot them all because they're magnetic. It was pretty easy to do. This one is more ColourPop mostly and some other random stuff. This one is depotted Juvia's Place. And then more single eyeshadows. These are mostly Coastal Scents. Alrighty, so that is it for this makeup collection and storage video. This is just how I store everything. I did show individual items, like I said, in my recent makeup inventory video and my ranking videos, so you can check those.